Solo leveling episode 2 just dropped and the heat immediately turned up. In the last episode we see the cast looking at a stone statue who's holding these commandments and we find out this episode that those commandments are vital to this hidden dungeon. Before we take a closer look at the commandments don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and let's get right into it. Like I just mentioned a hidden dungeon is a dungeon within another dungeon. A hidden dungeon often has a higher rank than the original dungeon that's why like you see in the episode they have such a hard time in it. This specific specific dungeon is called the Carton and Temple and the dungeon has its own commandments with its own rules. Let's take a closer look at these commandments because the first commandment is refer God, the second commandment is praise God and the third commandment is prove your faith to God. The first one is pretty simple. You have to refer God. The way the dungeon wants you to do that is by bowing down to the statue which in this dungeon is supposed to be God. The second one however is where it gets difficult. While praise God sounds easy, it has a different meaning in this dungeon. We see one of the characters recite a verse as if it's a regular religion, which it is not. So he ends up getting squashed by the statue and this is where all hell breaks loose. So everybody starts running and I honestly believe that if it wasn't for Song's level headedness and just his ability to keep on thinking thinking in this stressed out situation, none of them would have made it. But as Song tells everyone, some of the statues are actually holding weapons and some of them are holding instruments. The second commandment isn't something that the players can do themselves. They have to go to the statue with the instruments who will then praise God for them. If you go to the wrong statue, you're cooked. And if you go to the right statue, you're safe. They end up surviving the second commandment. And this is where the hardest commandment, the third one comes into play. Prove your faith to God. The biggest statue summons an altar and they wrongfully think that they only need one sacrifice which is not the case the whole party approaches the altar and this is where you see two flames appear we see blue flames and we see red flames and the red flames indicate how many players are near the altar and the blue flames act as a timer when everyone's near the altar we see the doors blast open and this is where the prove your faith to god commandment comes into play i know it's easy to now run away take the gamble of surviving but that's not how you survive the dungeon with all of your party members. To survive the third commandment, you have to stay inside the circle until the blue flames run out. While staying inside the circle, you have to look at the statue because when you look at them, they can't move. Just like the child's game some kids used to play back in the day. If the timer runs out, everyone's still looking at the statues, is still inside the circle, everyone gets to go. This is not something that the whole party agrees to or believes in, so the situation becomes incredibly dire. It turns into a situation where if you go you might survive and if you stay you're cooked. The commandments in themselves aren't all that hard to follow but the thing is you have to know how they work. Don't forget to check out my full episode review on my channel. Comment, like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one.